Hey YouTube, Nate here with Paradise RV and I am going solo today to do a walkthrough of a nice little used unit that we got. It's a 2016 Jayco uh, Whitehawk, let's see, Whitehawk 28DSBH. It's super cool, has tons of great features, so stick with us and we'll go through it. Welcome back. So here we're going to go through it. Uh, you look at the front uh, nose cap, really nice. It's got uh, the fiberglass nose cap. It's got some cool little accent lightings right here. It's got the diamond plate rock guard. It's got a nice good uh, battery uh, cargo holder, uh, battery tray. That's the word I was looking for. You got your classic dual propane tanks and comes with a cover for your front uh, electric tongue jack which makes it super convenient. Let's get this thing back on. I'm just kind of leave that like that for a second. Uh, inside here, forgive me, I got one hand. Uh, you got tons of cargo space. You get the light on. Let's see if I can turn this light on. There we go. Uh, this one will come with the weight distribution and it's got a couple connectors in here uh, reducer and I believe up to 50 amp as well you got your nice little hot point uh, refrigerator right there which is kind of cool we keep your refreshments out here I direct you down here it is full fiberglass so it has the aluminum frame as well and you got a nice little awning right there it does have the LED party strip whenever you bring it out um, got good uh, step good, good steps uh, entrance uh, the previous owner did put this nice little extra guard in there um, here's your portable tank I'll list the specs for you for that uh, it does come with an outdoor TV I did want to have that set up but it is back there in the bunks and yeah I'll show you that in a second uh, I did get new tires for it so those are crisp clean brand new tires um, coming to the back. He also installed this rack, which is going to come with it and has a little grill and uh, He did put yeah a little access port in there if you wanted to put your your propane on the ground um, or There's straps I guess that you can strap your propane tank right there if you wanted to do that as well uh, You got your six gallon at wood uh, water heater right there. You got your spare tire you got your uh, your roof rack or your roof ladder. Sorry, I'm kind of fighting the sound of the generator right now. Uh, inside here, I'm actually not sure. Oh, that is a good amount of storage. Yep. You got your 30 amp power cord. We got our little Ryobi generator. This thing actually works really great. We've had it for a couple years now and uh, just keeps on ticking. It's a little loud. Wouldn't recommend it for park use, but uh, works in situations like this. So you got your back flush and then you got your city water. Got a nice outdoor shower as well too. Uh, you can see there's a giant slide right here, which is great. Uh, gives you plenty of room on the inside. And then here's that other extra cargo storage in here. It also has what I call the little Lance slot. <laughs> Lance is famous for putting outdoor tables uh, with their units. And that's what that slot's there for. Unfortunately, this doesn't have the uh, uh, the table that comes with it, but you could easily pick one up pretty cheap, I would suppose, from uh, Walmart or Amazon or anywhere online that sells them. It's tons of places. So, oh yeah, the outdoor does have speakers, which is nice. And it has a little stove vent uh, right there as well, too. So if you're cooking, turn on that stove vent and get you some. Uh, so I'm gonna go back here. It is South Carolina and it is May. So that means it's starting to get hot out here. Um, we do have a new uh, mattress on order for here. Here's that outdoor TV. Uh, it is a Furion, which is nice. It stays con uh, consistent with the other Furion uh, items in here. It also has a nice little curtain so the kiddos can kind of close it off at, at bedtime or you know, whomever. I mean, those are pretty big bunks, so you could probably fit a couple in there if you have a bunch of friends coming with you and stuff. Uh, you got a good size shower 
He also upgraded this because he was a taller guy, bigger guy. So he put that in there to give you a little more room, a little more space. Let's do the measurements. Oh yeah, this has tons of uh, room clearance. We'll see in the camera there if I can see if I'm framed correctly. Yeah. yeah, so tons of head clearance. Uh, I'm 5'8", and that's a good at least foot higher than me. So taller guys can do that. Uh, you got a nice sink and your commode. That is porcelain. Nice. Uh, you got your second uh, door right here. So if you just need to run to the bathroom, you don't have to run through the whole camper. Uh, you can see with this slide extended, it has tons of space and tons of extra room over there. He did that. He did uh, keep in that extra ottoman that is aftermarket, uh, and that's coming with the unit. You got your dinette that'll convert into a bed. You got the trifold sofa in there, so it's a little better than a jackknife. Very plush and comfortable. Uh, you got giant counter space right there. Uh, that's a lot of prep area, which is really nice to have. You got tons of storage up here above. You got your microwave. You got your three burner Atwood stove. You got your oven. Looks like the cleaners need to get in here. You got your Norcold uh, refrigerator. Uh, it's got the gas or electric setting for you. You got a giant pantry up here. I feel like there's not a lot. Oh, I forgot to turn on the lights. That's why it's so dark in here. Let me see. Ah! Voila. Let there be light. Cool. Uh, that helps a little bit. Let's see? Turn on the stove light. Um, where was I? Yeah, so you got uh, the nice uh, night day shades. All works really well. Uh, you got your entertainment center up here. You got your Furion DVD player. This is also a control for your indoor outdoor speakers. It does Bluetooth. Um, you can hook in USB. You can uh, use an aux out for headphones or whatever. This is your access to all of or some of the connections. Down here is the storage for any DVDs you may want. You can still keep that or it's extra shoe storage because right there. This thing is pretty cool. I'll show you from the other side. So there's a nice coat rack there. These things, ah, there we go. That on clips. Uh, speaker inside, outside. If you got the speakers going to the outside. Let's unclip this, move that, and this guy spins. And the previous owner did this too. So he put it on a swivel. So if you wanted the doors to still be open and watch, you can. So I thought that was a nice little touch that they did. So let's we'll spin this back around. And we'll latch it in there. I'll open this door so I have some room. Sorry for the shot of straight the door. But uh, you kept an upgraded uh, residential style mattress in here. You put a little nice little fan. Uh, again, it's the south, so that helps. You got plenty of storage in here. Nice wardrobe on either side. You got some storage up there. Um, so it's a nice little unit. It's priced really well, very solid, very well kept. Uh, lots of good little um, little features and add-ons that he kind of left and uh, yeah, <laughs> I think that concludes it. So again, I'm Nate with Paradise RV. Check out all of our inventory at rvparadise.com. Uh, you can message us, text us, all that good stuff. I'll have all of the, uh, the description and the specs listed uh, in the description below. So thanks so much and uh, we'll see you next time.